I am so, so sleepy tonight. I, I don't know what happened, but like, I got up this morning. I mean, I had a sort of a slow start this morning. And then, like, I had lunch a little late, but not terrible. Well, no, I guess it was kind of late because it took almost an hour to get here. Anyway, by like 2.45, 3 o'clock, like, I hit a wall and I just... Yeah, like this is this is the most awake that I've been in the last four and a half hours. So I'm just like, whatever. And I know it's therapy review night, and we can talk about it a little bit. I mean, there's not there's not a whole lot to tell this week because this week was a little different and a little like touching on very private subjects. Um, so I can give like a brief, very like generic overview. Um, but I don't know if I, I want to go into specifics just yet. But, you know what? I'm going to hang out. Um, I didn't even bring the milk stein. Like, I literally just have my sweet tea tonight. That's that's how it is. I, so I wore the milk stein in honor of the milk stein that is downstairs in the sink, awaiting its next wash. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to hang out and... I got, I got Lollipop and Elena. They're hanging out too, cause we've we've all kind of had. It's all it's been a week for all of us so far this week. It was a week on Monday. It was a week on Monday. It was a week today. It's just it's been it's been it's been a month this week, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So I don't know. Let's just. <gasps> I, I do the raw rars. That's because I'm a bear. All right, that's it. We're just yeah, we're just gonna go into this. Let's turn on the music. Let's see. What in the fuck? Extinct dinosaurs is apparently your channel name now. No, nope. <laughs> what in the what, hell? What, you don't think extinct dinosaurs is a good thing for your therapy show? I mean, I don't want to be an extinct dinosaur. Because I'm a bear. Yeah, Andrea, it's been a fucking week this week. Oh, all right. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, today we had, today was, work was kind of, work was a little rough. We had a meeting, well, we talked about stuff this morning, everything was fine, and then I went to another meeting to tell another team about what we were working on, and it just kind of descended into chaos, and... I feel like I did shit that I shouldn't have done. Nah, and then I had to go back and we're gonna have to undo it, which it's not really much to undo, but it's just like, uh, it's fine. It's fine, we'll work through it. It's what we do, we make shit happen, we make shit work. Dinosaurs and bears I don't think are related. I don't think so, but I am kind of a dinosaur bear because I am old man bear, so, you know. Hey, NS. How's it going, bud? <sighs> this might be the most chill stream we've ever had here in the Zunder stream. This is just going to be like... I don't know. I don't know, man. It's alright. I'm going to have some tea. Cause some tea. Mm-hmm. You know what I should do? I should go get a piece of that coconut cream pie. Holy shit, it's delicious. Ooh, NS, what movie were you watching? There's a couple of those that, that get me every once in a while. Um, let's see, what what gets me? Um, I remember, I, I don't think it has this effect on me anymore. I'm, I usually don't like get too much of the waterworks unless it's like something 
very specific, but like when I was a kid, all dogs go to heaven. That movie, that movie fucked me up for a little while. Cause like, you know, the main character dog, Charlie, he dies again and he goes and he's gone. And it's like, no, Charlie, come back. Like, oh, cars. Yeah. Yeah. Tow Mater. Welcome to Radiator Springs. I'm Tow Mater. I do that way too well. Um, what the hell is this now? All Dogs is so sad. Like, it's just... I don't know, man. It's There's just something about it, you know? <laughs> Tow Mater. Just without the tuh. <sighs> That's pretty good right there. Pretty good. That's funny. I don't care who you are. God. Someone save me from myself. No can do. Well, then... Then, then the ship is... You're going down with this ship. Oh. So what's everybody else Chris, been up to this you're week? you're on mute. And your face is on mute. Dang. That's... I don't think her face is on mute, actually. I, I could hear her just fine. I mean, like, her face isn't loud, but it, it does make a statement that it is, in fact, a face. Thank you, I think. Yes. I know, Andrea, nobody can save me now. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond salvation. It's because I'm, I'm a heathen. Or whatever. Ow, why is my leg hurt? Oh, right, I'm in my 30s. Just like one of those, like, random... Like, what almost feels like a growing pain, but you're not growing anymore because you're in your 30s. Maybe it's a shrinking <laughs> pain. It's an aging pain. An aging pain, yeah. We are all adrift. That's very deep. And I'm not awake enough to be that deep tonight. But also, yes... Yes, we are heathens. At least I am. And Andrea, I know you are. And the two of you I know are heathens as well. Can confirm. Yeah. Living pain. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes if true. Uh, but also probably fucking true. <sighs> Turn that down just a hair. Like NS, you there's there's no more. You can't you can't. You're already pulled over. You can't pull over any farther. Like stop. You're already you're already reaching things on the top shelf for people. Just don't do it. Just quit doing it. Ooh, you know I actually tried to take a nap earlier and I couldn't. I'm, sometimes I'm bad at naps. It just really depends. Because, like, for me, ideal sleep conditions is, like, a little bit of warm, but with, like, a layer of cold around me. So, at night, we turn the air down. And, of course, we have the ceiling fan running in the room, in the bedroom, so that it, like, circulates and stuff. And, um, like, during the day when the air is kicked up a little bit, it's just like, just like, nope. Nope, can't do it. I tried, but like it takes me a little while to get to sleep anyway. I think that's probably part of the problem, is I haven't been sleeping great lately anyway. And then this week's therapy was just like, like going into it was like a, uh, coming out of it was a. Uh, it's just my second session, so it's like I'm still, I'm still ex extremely new to this whole thing, and it's just, it's a lot. I'm sure those of you who have been to to therapy before can confirm is a lot. Yeah, I don't know, like I mean, yeah, like Ooh, blankets are good. 
Yeah, weighted blankets are nice. I actually, before I came upstairs, Bean's like, can you help me? Can you, I can't pull this like over my head. Can you, because she's sitting on the other couch playing Call of Duty. And so like the weighted blankets draped over the back of it. And so she, I'm like, yeah, I'll pull it around for you. So I put the weighted blanket on her before I came upstairs. Ooh, okay. All right, let's see what we got today. Um, dealer's choice, done. All right, let's see what we got in here. We're running out of the packs. I might actually have to order another one. Let's see what I got left. I can actually spread all of them out in front of me. Um... I feel like I need the protein, so I'm going to do the trail mix. Yeah, that seems like a smart decision. Although, I think I only got one one more Crazy and Break a Trail mix left in me. Yeah, there's not much left in there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a little... uh. Oh, low. Mm. Oh. But yeah. It's like at work there are, there are like busy weeks and there are like low weeks. And that's not to say that we're not doing stuff on the low weeks. It's just like some weeks, like every other week is just like filled with very specific things that we have to do. And that those weeks are always more stressful. So this is one of the on weeks where we had the last day to finish everything for the sprint was on Monday. And Tuesday was all of our end of sprint beginning of next sprint stuff so the review where we show off the shit we've done the last two weeks our retro where we talk about everything that would happen you know and any issues that we had and how we can fix them and then our planning meeting to say all right here's all the shit we're going to do the next sprint so that was yesterday we had our planning a little earlier than we used to now it's actually going to be even earlier going forward which is nice for us because then we don't have to sit around for like three hours in a day waiting for planning to come around and then have to be on meetings later in the day because we just don't have you know we don't whatever so uh, we went ahead and got that done so i started working on the stuff and that's the stuff that i mean it didn't take me long to do but i'm just feel like uh I don't know. I just... Stuff I wish I had known before I did the thing that I did yesterday afternoon. It's so, alright. We, f we figured it out. We'll... It is what it is. Hmm. Also, Kevin, if you're watching this later, I love you, buddy. <laughs> but also, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Fuck you, but I love you. <laughs> No, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so what have all have y'all been up to this week? Like it's it's Wednesday. We've we've had some days so far. Some of us more than others. Right, Elena? <laughs> <laughs> oh, friendo, you you you. I have, I have three hundred pages of IRS publications on my desk. Mm hmm. You do. <laughs> because three separate I IRS publications are mentioned in the uh, job posting, so I guess I have light reading for the weekend. You are decidedly in the financial sector. <laughs> like, not not even a little bit. Like, you're there. Like, you, your ass is parked there. This is where you live now. I, I mean... I just want a job that says analyst in the title so that I can get other jobs that say analyst in the title until I can get to where I really want to be. Don't forget that you also want to get paid for the job that has analyst in its title. 
whatever. No, not whatever. Not whatever. Fight for the fight for the the salary that you deserve. I mean, to be fair to them, they. I'm not too far from a low tier analyst pay. I'm like a few grand away. That's it. Well, but my point (laughs) is, don't let them jerk you around, and let's. Let's be fucking real. You're a woman, so the likelihood of them jerking you around versus, say, me or Lollipop is a lot higher, so don't let them fuck you I over. Mean, to be fair, I'm probably already screwed because I didn't negotiate accepting this job at all, so that's why I'm just trying to get somewhere with analysts in the title so that I can do that elsewhere, maybe. I don't know. The entire interview process is nerve-wracking, and so... Yeah, I I haven't even applied yet, but, you know. Well, don't forget that your current salary and your salary history is nobody's goddamn business but your own. And that's only there for them to use as a negotiating tool to negotiate you down and say, "Mm, no, we can't pay you that because that's not where you are. Fuck them. You get... Oh, fair. But since it's within company, which my salary history is public so well not public but it's it's you know what I mean. it's it's retrievable correct yep you know i know so what you mean i've been there that's why i'm i'm not too worried about pay with this company because between benefits and the fact that they've given me completely unprompted raises they're at least not complete shitheads mm-hmm, about mm-hmm. pay um like obviously probably not the best but definitely not the worst by far I'm just, this one's going to kick me in the teeth because I'm going to try like hell for this one and I'm probably going to get beat out by experience again and that's going to suck. Well, we'll look at it this week. We'll we'll see what we can do about it. We'll see. We'll see. I have you looking at it. One of my coworkers, well, one of the people I reached out to the position that I didn't get last round, but I've been kept in contact with her quarterly. Mm-hmm. Um, she actually works with the hiring manager for this one. Um, oh, good. Because I, I reached out to her because the this position is kind of adjacent to the the one I really really want. Mm-hmm. Like the fraud department, tax reporting is they're kind of under the same like umbrella with the compliance thing. Um, so it's. And she worked in tax reporting for four or five years, so she was like, set up an hour to talk with me next week. Send me your resume. When does the job posting close? Nice. I'm like, oh, okay. So I have her looking at it. I have one other friend looking at it, and if you look at it. So I'm just trying to get different feedback, because I'm good at other people's resumes. My own. I'm just like, bleh. I do stuff. Please give job. I, you know, I, I was like that for a long time, and then I finally sat down and, like, I've, I've kind of, I kind of found my groove with my resume, which I'm very fortunate that I did, because, like, it's, it's, my resume is in a really good place right now, plus, I have a, I have a history of my resume, I have, hold on, I can tell you, because I keep the history of it, let's see... Plus, I design my own resume. I do it. I do it all. Mine, like, is if I don't have to give someone a word document, I give them the PDF because the PDF is made in Adobe InDesign. Because uh-huh. once upon a time, I was a print designer, so designing a resume is squarely within my wheelhouse. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm going to PDF it once I'm done with it, but right now it's a Word document because all I'm going to do is just P- like easy PDF it, so it's not going to be anything fancy. Yeah, just make sure you keep the Word copy handy because a lot of people will will ask for that. So let's see. I have the last one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. That's... It looks like the last, and I have a couple of revisions of a couple of these in here, but in the last four and a half years, I have eight versions of my resume, and the last time I modified it was like July of last year, so it's been a while since I've updated it, but nothing really in my career has changed much since July, because I've been in the same position doing mostly the same stuff. 
Yeah, this one I had a decent chunk of things to add because I've been kind of... I've been letting it kind of stagnate because I've been in the same position for five years. Mm-hmm. But I, I, this past year I have chased hard and gotten basically every project they, under the sun they could give me. So I kind of had to update it with some stuff because there were at least a couple buzzwords in the job posting that I actually have any experience with versus none. So yeah. Don't don't say that your your resume is a page of useless shit in S. If it has any any kind of relevance to a position or a field that you want to work in, it's useful. It's valuable, especially hobby shit. For example, um, back in mid twenty thirteen, I basically started my career over. Um, I went from being in IT to being in software engineering. And I had to come in as a junior software engineer because I didn't have any professional experience on my resume. Um, like a couple of months when I first moved to Florida at the, you know, near the end of, or I guess, like second half of um, 2009, uh, nine, nine, eight, eight, something like that. Um, I was still in college. Just going to point that out. You're what, 32? Doesn't it? Yep. God. Children. <laughs> you, you, you children, you. Well, yeah. you NS, is, NS is over here. NS is like 19. <laughs> Fuck you guys, you, you fucking kids. I know you're not actually 19, NS. I'm just... just so, God damn it! <sighs> Fuck you guys. You fucking kids. In 2009, I was... You actually... Oh, up. Jesus Christ. He is actually 19. I thought you were like... I thought you were closer to like 21, 22. Oh. God, I'm so old. I can feel my... I can feel my knees going um, as I sit here. Oh, put me in the home now. Put me in Shady Pines now. Anyway. Um, so... Um, when I, when I started over, um, you know, I had like, I had a lot of, of good, yeah, see, that's the thing, Andrea, nobody knows. It's, it's a mystery to everyone. Um, I, I started, I had to, you know, I had like a bunch of IT experience on my resume and the tiniest bit of programming, but not much. So the best I could do was a junior position, but I had other stuff because I had been coding as a hobby for like ever, like literally like my entire life. Like I started when I was a kid coding. And so um, because it was always a hobby and something I really enjoyed to do in my spare time, I actually had projects. I had a portfolio. So in working to get my, um, my first like, or my, my first like long-term development job, um, I actually included my portfolio with my resume, basically like a, like a designer would, um, like a designer or an architect or someone like that, you know, um, some kind of creator. Cause it's, it's, it is a form of creating. And I'm like, Hey, by the way, I've uh, not, you know, I don't have a lot of experience on my resume doing coding necessarily, but I've done it as part of all these other jobs in this, 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 and this aspect. Plus, here's all this other stuff that I actually do that I've coded, and I can show you this because, like, they were mobile apps for like Windows Phone back in the day. So I, you know, I pull out my phone and I'm like, "See these apps? I wrote these apps." Um, so, you know, having anything like that, so like the, like the stuff that you've been working on in S, um, like your crossband repeater project that you've been working on, that's a great thing to put on your resume because even though you don't have a lot of professional experience doing something like that. That's a hobby thing, and it shows that you have the initiative and you have the knowledge to work on something like that. And so for you, wanting to go into radio engineering, that's a perfect thing to put on there and say, hey, this is a project that I've done. You know, So like, I wouldn't say extracurricular project, but I would say like hobbyist project or whatever it may be. But put shit like that on your resume, you know, put that kind of stuff on there so that people see that you have an interest in stuff like that. Um, 
you know, especially not having a lot of other professional experience. Now, someone like Elena, who is trying to get a, a position that's, you know, at a sort of a more challenging tier than what she's at now, um, even though she doesn't, you know, she's, she's trying to, to, to kind of work her way up to that point. But a lot of what that position that she's looking to get calls for, she does a lot of that kind of stuff now, just sort of incidentally, and not just as part of her job, but like, because she, let's be fucking real, she's really fucking good at what she does, so she has that, and it's a great kind of thing to put on your resume. So when you're building out a resume, make sure that you you fine-tune your resume for what you're trying to go for. Um, for example, I had, for a long time, when I was trying to go back and forth and decide whether I did want to, to like actually move to the software engineering side, um, and again, this was like 2013, um, I kept two versions of my resume. Two versions. They had all the same positions on them, but one was all IT shit and all the IT relevant like top three or four things for each position that I had. And the other was for development and all the development technologies I had experience with, all the development like style focused tasks that I would do in those positions and what I accomplished by coding. And even though I was IT, I still wrote a lot of code to do the shit that I did. Like one time I had to like reverse engineer some fucking license keys for this like software that was no longer published, but we still had like we had a bunch of, of licenses for, so we couldn't recover them because the company didn't even support it anymore. But to get them off of machines and transfer the licenses between them, I had to decode the fucking like the serial numbers back to the license key so I could reinstall them. So, you know, I had to write an application to do that. And that's the kind of stuff that I had on the dev side of the resume, even though, you know, the other like, I'd say 70% of my job was picking up the phone when somebody says, hey, my shit's broken, or we've got a new job site we're setting up and we need someone to set up the router and the VPN and everything to it, or, you know, we've got new machines that we are that we need because our stuff is old and just that kind of stuff. So um, gear your resume towards what you, what you really want to be. If you go, are going for a different position, have a different copy of the resume and make sure you put any relevant anything that you do around it even if it's not directly for a job that you've had put it in there because if it has some relevance it shows that you have knowledge of the subject area and that always helps yeah i even tweaked this most recent round i even tweaked my job from 2007 to 2014 because it's barely on there but i'm leaving it on there as a hey i've worked solidly forever Please note that my work history is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but I tweaked it because um, this posting is super compliance focused. So I, I, I tweaked the wording a bit because there was compliance work in that stuff I did. So yeah, good enough. Are you working on the dome? Mm, yes. Oh, okay. I saw the... Like, I, I, I'm popping between tabs, and I saw the server console, and it said you connected. And I was like, oh. Because I rebooted it earlier, and I had never logged back in to see if it was working. But hey, at least it's working. We know it's working. Yeah, the, the dome is my, like, how not to have an anxiety attack right now. That's, listen, it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you have something. And it's a big enough project to where you can, you can work on it for a while. Yeah, it, it, it's going to last me, hopefully, at least most of this interview process. Good, good. I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad you have something to, like, kind of t focus all of that anxious energy into. Um, yeah, I was actually talking to Sabrina about it earlier today, because, you know, being tired today, like, I'm always I'm always a little anxious at all times, just a little, just a, just a smidge at all times. Just That's just the nature of who I am. And like I was talking to my mom the other day and she's like, she's like, why are you so worried about stuff? I'm like, I'm sorry. Have, have we met? Have you met you? She's like, she's like, I ain't like that anymore. You just got to chill. I'm like, well, that's fucking nice. Maybe when I'm in, you know, when I'm in my mid fifties, I can learn how to chill, but I ain't there yet. Um, 
in her defense, she has been through some shit. So, you know, by this point, she has figured out how to deal with all of her shit between like, um, you know, being having to cope with it for fifty fucking years. Well, that too, but like being a single parent, dealing with shit from her childhood, her, her, you know, her dad, who she, um, you know, got reconciled with. Um, fairly late in his life he passed away a couple of years ago um like my um right i want to i'm I'm with andrea i want to sign up for just a smidge oh no that's just just a smidge oh no i mean like if i mean if there's literally nothing else going on that's the thing there's always something going on I mean, if there's literally nothing else going on, there's there's always just a little bit there. It's it's just never at that level. There's there's always like it's like watching the server monitor with the CPU and RAM usage. It's always like going like this, but like if if I'm, nothing else is happening, it's still like a small baseline. I'm I'm still I think, and I think Andrea might be saying the same thing. I'm still gonna say that uh, my base level is higher than just a smidge. So where do I sign up for the just a smidge setting? Well, yeah, that's the thing. I, I think mine is higher than that too, but that's because I'm always thinking about all the shit that's going on. Um, but yeah, like you know, mom, mom kind of got all her shit figured out, and she's she's doing good now, and I'm 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 happy for her. But it's like I haven't gotten there yet, so you know, I'm working on it. Um, yeah, that's I. I'm I'm very thankful that that those are not things that I have to battle with, Andrea, and I'm very sorry that you do. Um, but um, like, those are part of why I wanna actually why I'm putting it off because I I have quite a I have a quite a mix of things that could be going on <laughs> yeah between cptsd add ocd and the fact that both of those are morbid with being on the spectrum i'm just like mm, i actually have to go find someone who knows what they're actually talking about um i don't i mean i've never been diagnosed so i don't fucking know but um, i'm i'm fairly certain i don't have adhd but i do have other factors that I've I've noticed that that are commonly associated with ADHD. Um, so I, um, I, I I do like wonder about that sometimes, but um, I I will say like yeah, that's the thing, Andrea. I'm 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 still kind of feeling out, you know, my therapist. Which I talked to her yesterday, um, so there are a couple of topics that I'm going to have to do some long-term talks with her about stuff, um, and they're they're extremely personal things and not necessarily things that you know I'll get into detail about because it's 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 some some pretty personal stuff, um, but you know. It, Oh, it's things about myself that I'm, I just kind of want to learn to live with because I know, you know, some things that I can't change, um, I can't change these things about me because they're core parts of who I am. Um, so what I want to learn how to do is how to like better cope with them better like accept them um and they're not they're not bad things they're just things that i don't like um things that i wish i could change um but they're wired into the core of who i am so i can't um i love you too um I, I just, I want to, you know, I want to better, you know, kind of cope with that. And one of the things that I'm afraid of is like one of them in particular, you know, like almost no one knows on purpose. And I, I'm afraid that it's, it's, it's just like, it's one of those sort of personality traits that um, people don't understand a lot about. And so... I worry that, you know, if 
Um, if my closest friends, like, I, I don't want to alienate them by them finding this out and then having a reaction that I, that necessarily, that, that, you know, that, like, I worry about what they think. And, you know, she brought up a good point that, you know, even in the, the couple of sessions that I've had, you know, she says, it sounds like you have a really good group of people around you, and I really do. Um, I mean, like, I am I get all the support in the world from Sabrina. She's, you know, she's, she sticks by me. And then I have, you know, friends like Andrea that I've been friends with for fucking ever now. Um, and, and, of course, Tom, who Tom likes to troll, but, like, if you... Tom Tom really is like he's my fucking ride or die. He really is like I know that if I'm ever in a jam that you know Tom's got my back. Um and I like I have a lot of people around me that are like that. Even the ones that you know I haven't seen in a long time or haven't been, you know, terribly close to for a while. Like I still have those people. I know it's been 10 fucking years. I know. Like Jesus Christ. Like, holy shit. Oh. Um, but, like, I, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have those people around me who, you know, like, that I know genuinely care about me and my, my well-being. And, you know, I, it's kind of, it's, it kind of comes back to the old adage, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind and that's kind of where I have to get to is just realizing that you know even if this is something that I decide to discuss with you know one or more of my close friends you know it 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 really shouldn't change the way that they feel about me but I still worry about it you know I still worry about the perception and so, you know, it's something that I'm going to have to try to deal with and work through. Um, but it is what it is. I, I think that's kind of a growth thing on, on everyone's end in general. Because, like, it's, it's, it's not identical. But a, that, that, that adage of those who mind don't matter really really has clicked for me. It's not always personality traits for me. It's sometimes just, well, I guess it is personality traits, but my shit's fucked five ways from Sunday and I haven't taken care of it. So it's, you know, more than fun, but I've found that most people are actually pretty damn accepting of anything I come across and progress on, on my way. And those who don't, I, in, in hindsight, it was just a mess to begin with. Like, I can look back at exes and it's like, what are we doing? Like, not even, not even necessarily, well, some of them are trash people, but not even saying some of them are trash people, just, it's like the classic adage of someone who wants kids and someone who doesn't, but with like other personality traits. And it's just like, oh, what was I doing? Like, the, those are the only people who I've ever really run into that mind that I would have ever cared about, about any of my shit. Yeah like just opposite personalities but I don't know I'm just I'm kind of in your boat it's why I want to find someone who's experienced with a bunch of stuff because I want to figure out what's actually wrong with my head because I'm tired of TikTok attacking me with mental health TikTok yeah <laughs> oh, TikTok's been attacking me lately and <laughs> it's just I just came out to watch funny meme videos and I'm feeling so attacked right now. Right, I <laughs> came to watch funny and cute pet videos and now I'm sitting here going, oh shit, I did that when I was a kid. Oh shit, I still do that. Oh shit. Am I actually, like, I don't know. I've been diagnosed with depression, AD, ADD, and OCD. And honestly, looking at all, that doesn't make as much sense as actually being on the spectrum does compared with a lot of the other quirks that I deal with, and I'm just like, fuck everything. And then the ones come with, come around with CPTSD, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Just, yeah. Just, just throw my mental health in a bucket and call it trash, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the... 
um, Andrea, I, I, you're right. Like, I don't, I don't have to share everything, and I know everything that I won't, I won't share everything. But it's like, it's tough for me because, like, I know that I have an open line of communication with Sabrina. Like, we talk about everything we do, and I'm, I'm, again, I'm very thankful that I have such a a like supportive partner um but at the same time you know i don't want to put all of this stuff on her at all times like i don't want to you know talk to her about all of this stuff all the time i would like to have other friends that i talk to about some of the stuff and it's just hard for me because again i I don't want I I don't know if the risk is worth it for me. And that again that has nothing to do with the quality of, of my people. Like I literally am surrounded by the best people. Um but I just like I I don't know. I think yeah. for me, I kinda came to accept that it's less of a risk than I initially thought. For a lot of my shit because I want to be me and if I'm not being me if they don't accept me then they're just accepting mask me and yeah. well fuck that shit I've yeah done that for long enough yeah yep well mask you should be accepted right now because we should be wearing masks <laughs> well, okay <laughs> yes but emotionally mask me is is something i would like to you know kind of throw out a little bit lollipop go to your room just saying <laughs> go <wearing> masks <laughs> go to your room you're not wrong but also go to your room i mean he has a laptop in there so <laughs> i know fun. he does i know he does i have two i know god you have the work one and the not work one Oh, uh, yeah, no, and I'm, don't take any of that as me shoving you to share anything you don't feel comfy with, it's just more of, that's where I've kind of gone with my stuff, is I'm trying to find the line between oversharing and not, but I'm also trying to just be me, because I'm tired of not. No, and, like, I'm, I'm, uh... I don't okay, I don't know how long the delay is um for you. You might have to look in the settings on the stream itself. Um it depends on where you're watching it too. So if you're watching in a browser, if you hover over the stream, click the little settings cogwheel, and then I think it's under video settings. Let me double check. Where is my where is my paper? Let's see here. Let me show the player. Yeah, settings, go to advanced, and make sure that low latency is turned on, because then it'll do like like a two second delay. And that should do it. So like it's usually, oh, on your phone. You should still be able to, if you're doing it in the Twitch app, um, you should still be able to turn on low latency. Um, just tap on the video, you should probably still get the settings cog wheel there. Um, I just haven't, I haven't done it on mobile in a while because I like, I said it once and it was done. Um, but yeah, usually low latency is anywhere between like a second and a half to three seconds. So that's not bad. Um, but like, I'm not, I, I don't want to like share just for the sake of sharing and because, you know, sharing is encouraged. Like I want to, you know, I want to... Like, I want to be more open. I do. It's just I have this fear of what other people think. And especially, like, my closest friends. Like, again, those are my people. Like, there's, you know, there's there's, there's Sabrina. And then there are my people, like, directly underneath. So it's like, you know, I'm... Because my, my, my friends are my family. Like, I'm, you know, I'm... I'm 
I'm close to my, I'm pretty close to my parents. Um, you know, a lot more than I used to be years ago. Um, cause I, I think we, I think a lot of us go through that, that stage where even if we are close with our parents, we drift away, which I was never terribly close to begin with. So I would say I'm probably closer to them now than I have been since I was like single digits, like maybe eight, nine years old. Um, I was real close to my mom when I was little cause she, single parent. Um, and you know, that that's always like a kind of a, a, a binder, but, um, I, uh, I don't know. I, I just, my, my friends, like my, my friends are my family. Like these are the, the people that like, these are, these are the people that I care about. Like, these are the people that, that stick by me. Like, I don't know. That's just, those are just my people. And I am incredibly protective of my people. Like, if you fuck with one of my people, I will go scorched earth. And I will, like, I won't kill you. I will make your life miserable. I will make you live with the misery of the consequences of fucking with one of my people. I'm, I'm, I'm a very wrathful and vengeful god, and I will smite you in just the most miserable way possible. Don't fuck with my people. That is a warning to anyone who's ever thinking of fucking with my people. Don't fuck with my people, or I will destroy you. But because I am so close to my people, you know, I, I, I like what they th what they think of me, I hold in very high regard. And I, I, I'm like, just have a general concern of what people think about me at all times anyway, which I know it's kind of like, you know, like, who the hell are you? Like, what, well, you know, no one, no one really gives a shit about, you know, like no one's thinking about me as much as I think they're thinking about me. I know that. But at the same time, it still concerns me. You know that lizard brain doesn't know that. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My thumb is bleeding. Have you tried not doing that? No, I've been trying that for years. Sometimes I just start bleeding. It's, uh, I just look and I've like picked away at my cuticle and, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just keep a thing on it. It's fine. Fuck up people's credit. That's, see, that's how you fuck up somebody long term. Like, that shit's impossible to recover from. Well, damn near it. I I did okay, but you know, being a white dude I'm doesn't hurt. Waiting on my bankruptcy to fall off. Ooh, how long ago was it? Uh, I think we're on a we're at nine years. Oh, you're so close. I'm so fucking close. You're so close. I got my I listen. I wait. I had to wait for a repossession to fall off. So, you know, I I I had to do the seven year. But yeah. Yeah, uh, there was a repossession before the bankruptcy. <laughs> you know, it happens. That's true, Andrea. You cannot scrub the internet. Like, the internet is forever. Like, like, thirst is temporary, but the internet is forever. And let me tell you, the internet does not forget. And I will make sure that people do not forget. And I have enough people, I, and I have enough good people, and I have enough very connected people around me to where if you know if i call in the troops <laughs> we will all kill you in the most like in the slowest way possible <sighs> you know i have two speeds really i have random stranger walks up to me and has an entire conversation because apparently I'm that approachable and also I am a bear and don't you fuck with me because I will destroy you I will maul your fucking face off and those are my two speeds I think just you know do with do with that what you will oh I still have no idea where I want to put the sticker you just but need to channel so cute you just need to channel your inner bear 
who doesn't really worry about what other people think. Well, that's the thing, like, yeah. I, Cracko, I really fucking do. Like, that is it. Those are, those are my two settings. Like, I am either, I'm either, like, chill or I am full steam. Like, there's, like, that's it. There's no real middle ground. And working with me, I know Lollipop sees this because Lollipop has seen me at my chill and he has also seen me at my scorched earth. And he's seen both of those today. <laughs> mm-hmm. I went from one to the other within an within the span of about an hour. Uh, I do like stickers. I actually I have I have a whole like I have a whole tub of stickers. Most of them are are Microsoft stickers, like my Azure Cosmos DB sticker, and my Azure DevOps sticker, and it's all it's all rainbowy too. So you know. And I have uh, an OctoCat sticker, and I have a Microsoft Edge Canary development sticker, and I have an Edge development branch sticker, and I have a C Sharp, a Super C Sharp sticker. And I have, uh, this was cool, so this was, this was um, not last year, but the year before, the 2019 build conference. Let me see if this will show up on camera. So they had, over near the Azure stuff, they had these stickers they were giving out. I'm trying to see if I can get it to, it's really hard. You can start to see words at one angle, but. I'm trying, it's it's so hard to see. But it's got pronouns on them. So it's got she, her, he, him, they, them. And you can, so like you can, so you could circle your pronouns. It was nice. Um, to the cloud. Also, I have, I also have a, um, a Star Trek pin. Because, you know. Also, also, I have an Xbox sticker, because why not? I got an Xbox foam finger up there. I agree with NS. This is the one thing I hate about the going to the work from home and the digital thing is... Now in meetings, I have to see my see other people see myself. Like I have to see myself along with like everyone else. So That's annoying as crap. So what's really funny is I I hate pictures of myself. Absolutely hate pictures of myself. Okay, and streamer. I <laughs> yes, that's what we call <laughs> irony. That's irony. Yeah, there was a taco in there somewhere. Um, I, I, and at work all day, like, I will not turn on my camera. It is very rare that I turn on my camera at work. And, like, people, like, gently nudge to try to get us to use our cameras at work. And I'm like, no, because it doesn't change how I do my job. It does not make me any more effective or efficient at my job to turn on the camera. And if I'm, like, talking to people not in the room with me anyway, I'm picking up the phone usually and dialing them on a phone that doesn't have a camera because I would have been at my desk. So there's no difference. So I'm like, no, just no, I'm not going to use my camera. I would love to be able to do that, but I'm in the trying to build connection stage. So, you know. See, everybody knows me. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy that had the bear sign. Hold on. I wonder if I still... I wonder if I have a copy of that somewhere. I'm sure I do. Where, where's my pictures? What do you disagree with, Andrea? Yeah, I would love to know. Let's see. Oh, you need to know. Okay, so, well, that's okay. And that's that's understandable. Like, you need to be able to read reactions on people's faces. I have reactionary faces unless it's something that's very... Like, unless there's a reason. So, like, or to get more feedback or probe. Yep, 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 yep. I That I get. Um, I, I, I don't like being on camera. I like seeing other people's faces. I don't like my face being on camera unless, like, I, you know. Yeah, I'm just... 
other people's faces are slightly helpful, but then again, facial reactions are basically Greek to me, so it doesn't really help. Oh. Because then I'm just sitting there going, what did that face mean? And it, I just might as well have just not had the camera on. I, 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 sometimes it's helpful if I can actually figure out what the reaction means, but half the time I'm just like, was that a smirk or a smile? Are they happy? Are they annoyed? Are they thinking about their lunch break? Like, it's just fucking a foreign language as far as I'm concerned. Well, okay. Like, it, it depends on, it depends on the situation too. Like... If there are a bunch of us in a meeting, I typically just, I, I won't use the camera because there are enough cameras on already. If they, I'm like one one with somebody, I will typically use the camera. Unless it's like Lollipop because he and I are on the phone with each other most of the day, every day, just because it's nice to have someone in your ear. And I know that like he and I aren't annoying each other. Like we're, we're okay with each other. So it, it works out fine. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, I found the picture. So, uh, yeah, I have... Let me see if I can get it to show up. Yeah, so I have this... I have this sign that, that... It's still hanging at my desk, by the way, but I don't even... I haven't sat there in over a year now. But this is like... This is how people got to know me at work. I have this sign. And that's that was my sign that hung over my cubicle. So when people would like walk through the IT area, I sat right at the front. Like you open the door and the first two people that you saw were me and Lollipop because he sat right behind me. And so I would just have my little sign up there and tell people to come by and say hi. And it worked because I'm, you know, I am a bear and I know I look very large and fuzzy and also a developer. So people will think that I'm maybe by default, not necessarily, you know, personable, but I, I use the sign because, you know, I am, that, I, I am that bear. Like I just, please talk to me. <laughs> And yet, I still don't. Yeah, want that to. sign actually worked on me, right? Like, you, I, you weren't in the office for my first day in Neo, but the second one, I was. I, that's when I popped my head in and said hi for the first time. That's true. That's true. Yep. Um, and then I had like just random people from the IT department because they would come and go all day long because they would go to the restroom, they would go to the break room and get snacks or whatever, and they would come by and they would say hi. And that's how I know most of IT engineering, <laughs> at least the ones who, you know, were in the office, because they would come by and say hi. Um, if if nothing else, it gave people a nice little chuckle. So it's like, you know, it's I'm, I'm doing a thing that seems like it's nice, you know, but I'm 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 like my mother in that way. I can't meet a stranger like, you know. And I've been stuck with lollipop ever since. It's true. It's true. <laughs> stuck because because you're a lollipop. Do you get it? Because because you're never mind. Never mind. It's pretty funny. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, so yeah. <gasps> by the way, by the way, um, the channel has enough subscribers now. So one, thank you all. But two, we have enough subscribers now to where I got enough subscriber points. I got enough sub points to where we have a new emote slot unlocked. Which means that I'm going to have to commission more emotes to get done. And I have to do, I have to figure out what they're going to be. But I think one of them has got to be fish content in some way. Hashtag fish, hashtag content. Yeah, I just have to figure out how that translates into an emote. So I might do like some tropical fish, like like the like the clownfish, but instead of it just being stripes, it's actually like the orange and white arranged in like a hash symbol. That would be. I mean, I think it should just be raw cod because of how much raw cod we have. But I that's what I was, I was just thinking of that, and then I have two other ideas. Okay. All right. One of them, one of them's got to be Captain Hopper. You got to have, even if it's just like, 
top half of an emote for Captain Hoppers. So, Captain Hoppers, I'm going to do as a... I'm probably going to do as like a set. Um, so, I will have the, the head, like the top half, the bottom half, and also the sword. Um... But, I feel like there are going to be people who are going to enjoy abusing the bottom half of Captain Hoppers. Cool. Let them subscribe and they can abuse it. <laughs> they can they can spam the Captain Hoppers emote in my channel as much as they want if they subscribe. I'm probably going to make Captain Hoppers tier 3. Which means you can spam it. <laughs> I do love a the good other... picnic basket. Yeah, so, you know. And I do have a tendency to... Every once in a while, just out of nowhere, go, hey, a boo boo. My other thought is that you can also do, um, like, I'm thinking the same picture of Kid Arino, he just has a little fish in his mouth. You can use Fish Arino. You know, so I like where, I like that direction. But, let's say, okay, all right, let's do, instead of the, um, so we do a fish in his mouth, but instead of, like, we take away the heart, and we have him with, like, the, the big, like, the big shiny anime eyes open, like, he's very, he's very happy about the fish, but, like, with eyes open, you know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah, see, see, told you, it used to be a designer. I mean, like, this is, like, this, this, this is the design for Captain Hoppers. Like, I, I basically told her, like, almost all the details about this. Um, so, like, there wasn't a whole lot that she had to, like, come up with on her own because, you know, I had a lot of that stuff already kind of planned out in my head. Um, but, like... That's and that is not downplaying her work in any way, shape, or form. She did a fucking amazing job on this. Um, but you know, I'm I have a tendency to have a vision, which is why like Kitarino came out the way he did because I specifically had Kitarino like basically that in my head. That's that's what I wanted was that. Um, <clears throat> the. Uh, yeah the the milk stein like that's that's exactly the way i envisioned the milk stein so you know it it happened go get a snack in s get a snack while you're out give, give me a snack bring me bring back hot dogs i want hot dogs fuck i want hot dogs now oh. hey we are we are approaching being able to go get hot dogs like go get hot dogs like so so fucking close I'm telling you, man, on Monday, on Monday, I am going to go try to get that Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Especially now that there's, like, a delay in the next, like, batch of them. Which I hope they have enough. But I heard, like, yeah, a... Yeah, like I said, keep me posted, because if that goes well for you, I might, I might, might sneak out. I absolutely I've will. Got two huge meetings on Monday, so that's going to suck, but we'll see. Yeah. Andrea. Because I'm meeting with the... You're meeting with who? I'm meeting with the hiring. I'm meeting with the hiring manager, and I'm meeting with my contact who used to work with him. So good, Monday good. So you're like, you're going ahead and establishing that relationship now. I'm trying to, but I'm the part I'm worst at. I'm like, how do I talk to people? How do I people? I know it's 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 really tough. Like, like it, one, it's it's tough when that's not a thing that you do much anyway. But two, after all of this, it makes it even worse. No, I, I, I'm, I'm also just a chronic overthinker, so I was, like, messaging my soup. I'm like, okay, I'm overthinking things, but do I message him, for, like, do I email him first and ask if he want, is willing to set up a QA and a or do I just send the meeting? Because I would prefer to message, like, send the email first, but every time I've done that, like, a couple times people have looked at me like I've had two heads in this culture, and they're just like, set something up with my outlook, and I'm like, try to be, you know, respectful that you have other shit in your life it it, it she's it, like no i would email first <laughs> yeah no i always email first always email first because like i get like 
and for for internal people it is it is very different but um like so for my for my side gig um that I'm involved with, I get emails constantly because I'm listed as the CTO. So I get emails constantly. Hey, let's talk on like Thursday at 2 p.m. I'm like, no, fucking no, random, random salesperson. No, eat shit and fuck off. I like the guy that uh, one of the times we were going out to lunch. Do you remember the time that we went out to lunch and you were like, you got a call about someone who wanted to fix up your website and you were like, you know, I don't sell anything on that. Right. And then like, you kept talking to him. And then after a while you were like, so what do you like not like the design of my website? Cause I made this website. So do you say, do you think, are you saying my website's bad? And you just kept putting him in a hole and I loved it. Let me, let me put, let me put this in context. So when you register a domain, a dot com, dot org, dot whatever, and you have your contact information on it, that becomes public record because those domains get registered with ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. They manage, um, they manage domain names. They manage public IP addresses. That's their job. That's their job. That's what they do. Okay? Um, and when you have your actual contact information on it and you don't have it masked through like your domain registrar, which basically all of them have a service. Uh, like I go through Namecheap. Namecheap has a service called Who Is Guard. Who Is is the service that tells you like the information behind a domain, like the, like the administrative contact, the technical contact, all of that shit. Um, The so when you don't do that from the get go, there are companies, and what they do is they will crawl who is, and they will figure out who the new, new domain register like registrants are, and then your name gets put on a list, and you are forever on a list, and then you have people that call you, and they try to sell you services for building websites. Hey, I can build you a website. So this one particular instance that Lollipop was just talking about, we're at, again, like he said, we're at lunch and someone, we're at, we're at my fucking hot dog shack having lunch and someone calls me, one of these fucking spam calls, and they want to build my website. And this is the website and you can go to it. It is nomsterjam.com. Okay. Let me put it in the chat. It is nomsterjam.com. It is quite literally the website for our barbecue. It is a very simple website with like, like it's a simple ASP.net website where you can literally go sign in and sign up for future Nomster Jam events. It's basically, I set it up as an RSVP system so that I could learn how ASP.NET Core worked. I set this up like, I don't know, fucking four years ago or something. Um, yeah, they're fucking interrupting <laughs> hot dog time. Loading. Huh? What page is it loading in my end? It's not loading. See, Andrea, I, yeah. can, I can sort of see that, but I kind of have to get a sense of the person to like know that a their calendar is up to date and b they are open to random requests because it's like we're especially right now we're in tax season like the uh email he sent around to the soups that got forwarded to me specifically said that um they were definitively not doing shadowing um but that he would consider q a requests um and one of the people I reached out to was like, yeah, don't be surprised if you get declined. We were told no meetings at all. So um, just because it is tax season and it's tax reporting and they are so slammed. So it's, it's kind of, I, I don't know. It's, it's always like a catch 22 to me because there are people like you who are like, my calendar's up to date. And then there are people like me who are like, I just want to make sure you actually want to deal with this it's 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 not and yeah it, and it is it's very culture dependent but it's also very individual dependent like like for me like if someone wants to set up time with me i want to know why first like what do you want 
I'm I'm trying to do shit. I have I only have so many hours in the day to do all of the shit that I have to do, and I already have twelve meetings a week. What do you want and why? And I'm like ninety nine point nine percent of the time, I'm like cool. Okay, let's talk. Yeah, just let me know when you want to do it. But it is hard because you never know what a person's preference is until you ask them. Um. So oh, it's not redirecting. Oh, is the redirect not working? Yeah. Oh. That's, you know, I uh, I know a guy who does websites. If you wanna, if you wanna, if if you have any interest in getting that getting that <laughs> website all fixed up, I know a guy who can. Is his name Zach? <laughs> is his name Zach? I also that know guy a guy. Is. I also know a guy. Um. So. Yeah, so he's like, he's like, I can do this website for you. I'm like, I don't sell anything on this website. Like. I'm like, this is a website for my fucking barbecue that I have, so people can go RSVP and tell me that they're bringing what side dish they're bringing, as long as it's not fucking beans. A buddy of mine did that one year. He brought an entire, he brought enough beans for everyone and then some. So we have a no beans rule now. Um, but like, like he's he's like telling me that he can, you know, like make the design of my site better i'm like what the fuck's wrong with my site what the fuck is wrong with my site this this is you coming you can't tell you can't tell me my baby is ugly only i can say my baby is ugly fuck you spam guy <laughs> you got a problem with the basic asp.net <laughs> template like goddamn <laughs> are you saying microsoft is wrong buddy are you saying oh, nomster jam is wrong that can't say Microsoft is wrong, Zach. That's just, like, blasphemy. Are you saying Nomster Jam is wrong? Like, what the fuck? Ugh. Wait, what's the, uh... But, but yeah, I am... I, uh, I I don't do well with ambiguity. And just in my life. So, like, all of business, everything. Just, I hate all of it. Like, I was sitting there agonized, because I emailed the, the hiring manager, and he reached, he actually reached out to me via Teams today, because he had some time free this morning, and he's like, if you're, um, if you have time, he's like, I have two, the next two hours free, he's like, I understand if you need more time to collect your thoughts, though. No, I'm and stir I was like, jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, but, um, I, I reached out, or I replied, and I was like, do you have time next week? Because specifically the reason I was asking for next week and I, I briefly explained our staffing situation. I said, you know, if you don't, I'll work something out with my supervisor because I am keen to meet with you, but I'm trying to do what's best for my department as well. And he was like, that makes complete sense. And then didn't say anything else. And so I kind of replied to like, hopefully nudge a reply to the do you have time next week and he just replied to my reply and so finally i was like your calendar if your calendar is up to date monday at blah 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 does that work for you he's like perfect i'm like this is way harder than it needs to be i hate everything <laughs> lollipop lollipop <laughs> lollipop are you still there <laughs> target lost <laughs> I'm oh saying, i just hate everything <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, and you're right. You're right, Andrea. Like that's that's basically like like companies like that. That's that's a spray and pray. Like you just you hit everybody, you hit volume, and then you hope to find a target in there somewhere. And I mean, it works for a lot of these companies, but it's just like, ugh, I hate that I'm on the list. I have a spam email right now. Hello, do you have any valuable project that requires funds? Like, Hello, do you have any valuable project? Do you have any valuable project that requires funds? Quick Pay Global Loan is ready to offer you loan for your personal and business needs. Apply without collateral and get your loan same day. We offer long and short term loan from 50000 to up to $10 million. I'm like, okay. Um, okay. So, <laughs> no, I, and I'm I don't not. know if this is actually still true of my company at this point because this was like four years ago. But so I work for a mutual fund company, and we are actually fairly conservative with our our money to the point that they they have a lot of cash in reserve just in general because um 
I don't remember how it came up, but I was at a meeting where one of the big wigs was talking, and basically he was talking about someone asking them about risk and like, well, what would you do if, you know, such and such went under your stock tanked or something? He's like, pay out all our shareholders and have money left over just from our our reserve cash, like, <laughs> like we're just sitting on enough to just pay everyone and call it good. I'm sitting on a gold and mine, so, Trebek. So. That's where they were, and we still get the junk faxes of, if you need business loan, and I'm like, buddy. Oh my god. Buddy, you still get junk faxes. <laughs> That's, yep. Because <laughs> we'll see them come through our, our queues for stuff, and I'm just like, no. If we need a business loan, there are, there are a lot more problems than I want to know about right now. Oh my god. Yep. Yarp, yarp, yarp. Narp? <laughs> Narp? Uh, the greater good. The greater good. Yeah, I... Yeah. Do we get stuff like that from my website, Chris? Um... I think a lot of it gets filtered to spam, because I see, I see it rarely. Huh. There. Spam, 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 spam. But I don't like spam! But, that being said, I could also see people trying to uh, get your website, try to get that set up as an e-commerce site more than Nomster Jam, because, you know, <laughs> you actually have product on there that you sometimes try to sell. It's true, you do. I mean, I guess. Not in a pandemic, though. Well, I mean, you know, you they can, don't know that. You can. You can, can we switch away from the weird talking music because it's making me like crazy. Yeah, I'm, I don't like this. All right, get out of here. Thank you. Didn't we listen to this one earlier? Hold on, let me look at the let me look at the chat log. Did we listen to this one earlier? Or did we listen to one by the same artist? I know we heard one by the same artist. Oh, okay. So it's it's there's been a couple by this artist, but not the actual, not the same song. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I just needed it to stop being the weird talky because it kind of made me th think I was crazy for a second. Yeah, that's then fine. I realized it was the background music. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm in. So I, you can see that I use Pretzel for for my uh, for stream music, and I look in the Pretzel player. And there's a thing up in the top right corner that just has like a little blurb. It says, you eat hardship and sweat excellence. What? Mm. What? <laughs> Listen, I, I feel like I feel like Marlin in Finding Nemo. It's like, look, hi, look, you're really cute, but I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like he's trying to speak to me. I, I know like it. I feel like that was written by an AI. Right? Like one of those like like those those like computer generated motivational posters. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly like that. That is exactly what I am thinking. I like uh one of the one of the current TikTok trends is turning uh things your significant other or things you say to your dog or things like that into motivational posters and I, it makes me happy i liked the reasons my toddler is crying into motivational posters that made me happy yeah that's true inspirobot inspirobot is the good one if you go to inspirobot.me you can generate your own motivational poster <laughs> son of a bitch inspirobot that's fucked up. It is it is not false, but it is in fact fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck Inspirobot? <laughs> That's the first one it gives me. Thanks, I'll keep that in fucking mind. <sighs> hey Zach, I hear you shouldn't be insane. That's that's the word on the street, Elena. That's the word on the street. <laughs> Have you tried not doing that? That's that's what I've been doing wrong this whole time. Oh my god. That's it. That's that's my problem. 
Uh, let's see what the next one is. Okay, we fixed it for you. Uh, you can cancel your therapist. We've solved all your problems. You just need to not be insane. Okay, listen. I did that last week, too. I literally wrote a song about mistakes, about the mistakes of the crew building... Building the 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 um, the iron golem killing mechanism on top of like sacred cursed land, and it the I the think crew. Songs about mistakes are good. I think they're more inter interesting than most other songs. All right, we're doing one more. What's what's the next one? Come on, one more, one more, one. A thought is filthy in its own way. I mean. I, I mean, it's not inaccurate. It's a, it's a fair point. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. When you require a life, or whenever you require a life, you have to dare to dream it. Okay, that one's that one's just, yeah, that one's just a. a we're back a, to the bots wrote them. We're back to the bullshit. <laughs> Let's do another one. Yeah, have you tried not doing? It? Yeah, Lockhart Lollipop says that to me a lot. The idea of the drugstore should be for kids only. What the fuck does that mean? I'm her only drugging the children. I guess. Failures are evidence that you are on track. Okay, I mean, see, that's that's back to like... We're back to like standard bullshit. Alright, alright. Keep on looking for the Illuminati. Is that what I'm looking for? That's it. That's if it. That's what you want to see. That's. I'm taking that as keep on looking for the Illuminati. That's it. I. I got no more. I can't do any more. Inspire a bot. I'm clicking it one more time. I'm not showing you though. Truly insured is he that blesseth his false idol, for he also blesseth himself. I cannot make this. What? What? Did I? Is, did I actually read that correctly? Is that what happened? Yes. Like, yeah, you read that correctly. I. Nope. 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 We're done. I'm. I'm done with you, Inspirobot. You have failed me. Oh no! Inspirobot solved all your problems. You just gotta not be insane. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. A vampire can also be a boyfriend. Think about that for a moment. Sigh. Huh. Duck. Sigh. Ooh, I got one of those. Wait, where's my... Sigh. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Where's my... Ah. Back here, I got one. That's my side duck. That's my side duck that I keep with me at all times, or keep here at my desk at all times. I always keep him out. This is like, this is like a Kish first. Can you need to debug? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't use that side duck to debug. Actually, I have an actual duck to debug. Or if it's that duck's if it's eyes are adorable. If it's not a if it's not a if it's not a big bug if it's just a little issue. I got a little buck duck for that. It's a, uh, he says he says quacktastic on him. He's quacktastic. Also, Chris, two shulkers are emptied for you. <sighs> cool. And two of the what fourteen? I don't know. Something like I that. I haven't counted. Just. I just know that two of them are empty. Just two of several. That's all we know is several. That's that's what we got. Uh. Oh man, um, what else is happening? I don't know. I guess I'm I insane and making an insanely large projects. Eh, that's normal. I mean, but... you know, again, that's very on brand for you. I don't. How did my brand become insanely large projects? I don't like, know. I don't feel like that's my brand in anything but Minecraft. Well, yeah, but it's in Minecraft, so. This is where it's happening, so it's your brand. I guess. This is really my brand, Chris. Mm-hmm. See? And if anybody... Is my brand in anything besides Minecraft? 
your brand is go big or go home in a lot of things. Or, or to, to, to boil it down to an Inspirobot word, your brand is... Hold on, hold on. I have the word. Where is it? It's... Where did it go? I saw it. I just saw it. Where was it? Um, shit. I lost it. What's the... We tried not doing that. Damn it. It's doing the weird talking thing again. I thought I told it no, no, like, stuff with talking in it. Oh. It somehow got turned off. Okay. There we go. For some reason, that, that option got turned off. I don't know why. Um, ambition. That's the word. Why couldn't I think of ambition? It's because I'm a sleepy bear. Ambition. You have a lot of ambition. I... Mm, You're ambitious. Question. Mm, Tell me I'm wrong. Uncertain. Uncertain. Tell me I'm wrong. Doubt. Lollipop, am I wrong? No. See? You're ambitious. Mm. <laughs> slashed out, slashed out, says the person who, who they are, like, every other team at work is trying to figure out how you, like, what, what system you're cheating to get all the work done that you get done. <laughs> yes, that's ambition. That's, that's precisely what that is. That's just, like, Doing the shit that needs it done, though. Yes, but like at that level, that's also ambition. Like, people can get the job done without being ambitious. Getting it done at the level that you get it done, that is. I'm just a northerner who doesn't know how to be slow, okay? That um, I know plenty of northerners that don't do shit. Sure. I'm just one who doesn't know how to be slow. And I say this because Becca has been like, you need to chill. Just take breaks. I'm like, no. 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 <laughs> well, it's like, what's the thing about Capricorns? It's like, we like to work. And then when we're not working, we're working. That's what Capricorns do, apparently. That is what you do. That is what I do. <sighs> yep. You're not... Listen, you're not lazy. You just enjoy... You just enjoy leisure. Like, sometimes, like... Let me tell you. I... I I do try to slow down and relax sometimes. And let me tell you, some of the most relaxing times... Welcome back, NS. Some of the most relaxing times are sitting out on the deck at your dad's house. Like, that That was just, just like, looking over the water. Like, just, just peak chill vibes. Drinking our coffee. Eating our freeze, freezer bacon. Like, that's... That's that's some good shit right there. See, at home I'm lazy, but work I'm only sort of lazy. Well, okay, you're not lazy at home though. Like you still get the stuff done that you need to get done. You're just laid more laid back at home because you use all of your ambition at work until you just log back into Minecraft and you build domes that are a million fucking blocks in size. It's it's only 27,201 blocks. See, she ate a bag of freezer bacon yesterday. She, you know, she, she, so I, I go out to Seattle a couple of years ago. This was, I guess this was, was this the trip two years ago? I think so. Yeah. The, the 2019 trip. And so the first couple of nights I stay at Andrea's dad's house. Cause like, I usually like stay a couple of nights either like at her place or like her dad, um, you know, and said I could stay there and he and his wife were out of town um, when I got there anyway so like every time I go like one or both of her parents just like do something to just make my stay just 
that much more nice. Like the first time I ever went out there to Seattle to visit, I stayed with Andrea. And when I got there, her mom had just sent over like a pallet, like or like not like a pallet, but like like a big like box of ramen and um, like a couple of gallons of milk. Cause she knows I like ramen and milk. I mean, Jesus Christ. Those are those are two of my like five main food groups. Ramen, milk, meat, sweet tea, and uh, craisins. Let's just call it craisins. Um, so, like, so last time I was there in 2019, um, I stayed with stayed at her dad's place for the first couple of days because I usually make a vacation out of it. I go for the Microsoft Developer Conference. That's why I go, but it's really just a way for me to see all of my friends most of whom are going to be at the conference anyway. Um, but then it also gives me an excuse to see Andrea for a couple of days because she's like she's my West Coast bestie. So, you know, I go out there, I stay with her, and um, no, not milk in my ramen. I don't, I don't put milk in my ramen. I'm not a, listen, I'm not, I'm, I may be a bear, but I'm not an animal. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, like, Andrea introduces me to freezer bacon. You cook the bacon, you put it in the freezer. And it's just meat and fat. Like, most of the, the moisture has been cooked out of it at that point because it's mostly fat. It's bacon, for God's sake. It's not fat back, but whatever. It's bacon. And so, you put it in the freezer, and it gets, like, it gets nice and cold. And freezer bacon is actually delicious. Changed, changed, changed my life. So, freezer bacon's my treat when I go out there to see Andrea from now on. Um, but like we, like I got up the, like the second or the, the, the next day. Cause I came in late the night before. So I get up that first full day that I'm there and we make our coffee and we just go sit out on the deck and we just chill out there for a while. And it's nice. Like, it's just nice. Those are, it's, it is kind of like ice cream and bacon together. Cause like the way that it freezes, it almost makes it creamy because of like the fat content. Cause that's all ice cream is, is frozen milk fat. Oh, it's so good. I feel like I've lost you, but trust me on the freezer bacon. You haven't lost me. I just don't typically have a reason to have freezer bacon. What about regular bacon? <laughs> have that somewhere we have so much bacon lazy. see yeah, we've just been too lazy to actually make it that's fair we have some bacon too i need to make it making bacon i'm gonna do that since i stopped making breakfast sandwiches and switched to the biscuit cups oh i haven't needed to go through as much bacon mm, breakfast sandwiches breakfast sandwiches are always good so speaking of bacon and breakfast sandwiches, um, I know I, I'm pretty sure we've talked about this, but um, and it's been a couple weeks since I've had it, and I'm I'm well overdue for it at this point. But breakfast baconator changed my life, and Tom changed it even further when he said, "Don't get it on the regular bun because when you normally get the breakfast baconator from Wendy's, it comes on the normal bun." He said, "Change it out, do it on the croissant bun." Wow, just like, whoa, oh, so good. Breakfast Baconator, maybe a little breakfast burrito, like a sausage burrito as a, as a little treat. A little sausage burrito as a treat. And then big old sweet tea, that's the breakfast champions right there. That's good shit. I'm still sad that McDonald's took away the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. That was my favorite fast food breakfast before the breakfast baconator came along. That was really, really good. I love that. I also like the chicken egg and cheese bagel at Chick fil A, but I don't go to Chick fil A unless Sabrina's going to Chick fil A. So it's just like. Eh. It always comes back to food with me, doesn't it? And why not? Food is tasty. Food is tasty. You're super not wrong. Food is real tasty. I like it V much. I like it V V much. Ah. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun.
Hmm. This is pretty nice, this song. This is all right. I agree. It doesn't have weird talking bits in it. It does not have weird talking bits in it, and that is nice. I will say that is nice. Oh, by the way, um, I don't know if if Elena told you Lollipop, which I'm sure she did. Um, but the you know how Mo has the new feature where when she shouts someone out, it shows it plays like their top clip from the last month. Mm -hmm. Do you know what our top clip from the last month is? Is it me uh, painting the boat with my face? It sure is, bud. It sure is. It is, and like, like I. I said something about that to Sabrina last night or the night before, and she's like, oh my god. She's like, that's so fucking hilarious. And she's like, wasn't he like trying to get some flower or something? Because like, she, all she saw was just like the little bit of the sea lanterns there. She didn't know what it was. And it's like like a bright little thing, pixelated something. So, you know, um, it's got like a little cluster over them. I'm like, no, 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 it's way funnier than that. He saw that I was throwing sea lanterns at Elena, and I... Like, he was going to try to swoop in and steal them and fly away. And she goes, oop. I'm like, yep. As we like to say here in this house, he oofed when he should have whooshed. You did a big oof onto the deck of the boat. <laughs> I did the swoop in. I did not do the swoop out. You did not do the swoop out. This is why I like to say that Lollipop is great at flying, terrible at landing. Elena, on the other hand... Not, you know, still getting the hang of the flying bits, but landing, usually pretty damn, pretty damn good at it. And like, like just nice and. Shh. I'm good at landing once I get down from my 600 Y in the end perch. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. <laughs> just like, like we're all here. We're just all flying through the air, just like going over the trees and over and around the mountains and stuff. And meanwhile, Elena's out somewhere in the stratosphere. Hanging out with satellites and space debris. <laughs> and then she looks and she's like, oh, huh, that's down there and I'm way up here. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how that goes. Yeah. We are on layer 80, or layer 93 of the dome. Layer 93? Mm-hmm. And I started at 72, so... Started at 72, you're at 93. What are you going up to? I have, uh, I'm going up to 145. Oh, okay. Nice. Because the exact would have been like 144 point something, but mm -hmm. obviously Minecraft isn't going to let me have partial blocks. What's nice is, too, about that dome is because it's outside and it's glass, you won't have to, like, light it up or put anything, like, on it or anything. It's already right. spawn-proof in and of itself. Correct. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. That's why I like the glass domes, because they are spawn-proof. I did start working on a little bit of the aquarium over at the uh, over at SeaWorld. Not sure how I feel about it just yet, because the lighting part is weird. Lighting part is weird because it's, it's, a, it's an, a tunnel of air underwater... So it's a little dark when you go in there, and when it gets dark, it gets a lot dark in there. So not sure how I feel about it just yet. Um, Have you tried hiding the lighting? Well, that's the thing. I can't hide the lighting because it's a glass tunnel. Underneath, slab, slab floor. Well, the lighting needs to be away from the tunnel to be able to see the stuff outside. Slab floor, the stuff outside. Well, I like I've got to put I got to put it like several blocks away to for you to be able to see anything like of of any substance. I don't know. I might I might put a conduit out there and fill it back up with water because it's glass, so nothing should spawn inside of it. I think because uh -huh. um, it's enclosed, it's encased in glass, so glass above you, glass below you, nothing should spawn. So if I put water back into it and have a conduit out there, then it'll actually light it up to where you can see everything around you at all times because of the conduit power. Hmm. Yeah, so... I don't know. I kind of really like the idea of the air aquarium, but I'm trying to think... 
Yeah. I wonder it... if you could do something with like end rods. I don't know. I tried it with sea lanterns, and it's just like it lights up the tunnel, which is nice, but you can't see much beyond that because you know even with a light block that emits a light level of fifteen, it still has a limited radius. What about putting sea pickles out there? An air aquarium is a zoom closure. No, not like that. Ns like this. It's a it's a it's a submerged tunnel. Like when you go to the aquarium and you're walking through, and like the tank is all around you. Like it's like that, but it's like all around you because it's all glass all around you. So you, the area that you're in is air, but you're surrounded on all sides by water. Air aquarium. Well, what about sea pickles? Sea pickles may work. I just, again, I don't know how how much I'll be able to do with that. I gotta, I have to get sea pickles, and I don't know, I don't know if you can grow more sea pickles. I don't know how. I don't know the mechanics of of sea pickle propagation. Well, I know this thing called a Google. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. I keep the wiki open in a tab anyway, but. Thanks. All right. Bone meal can be used on sea pickles if they are underwater and planted on living coral blocks. This increases their number on that block and they spread to empty areas underwater above other living coral blocks. They can spread to the original sea pickles coral. level. Coral. Or to one level below, out to a horizontal taxi cab distance of two. Bone meal can be used on sea pickles planted on other blocks or outside of water, but nothing happens. The bone meal is still consumed. So I'd have to get some of the coral and uh, try that. It's fine. It's it's not a big deal. I don't care tonight. Um. Oh yeah. Sometimes we talk about Minecraft here, like like sixty percent of the time. Sixty percent of the time, it's Minecraft every time. Man, I had to put a blanket on the on the seat of my chair because, like, the 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 default mesh fabric that's on it, like, was kind of being like rough on my thighs because you know I'm wearing that shorts, the worst. and like it gave it like oh it's bad like it's it makes them sore and like rough and I'm like Ugh, it's terrible. I was gonna say, like, you say pants are a tool of the devil. Mesh is worse. Well, it depends on the context. Like, fishnet stockings are technically a mesh, but those are nice. I mean, they're not those necessarily... Are also a tool of the devil as someone who's worn them. They're not necessarily they comfortable, the but they're nice. Like, they have their purposes, but, oh God, are they awful to wear. I like the mesh back of my chair. Like, the mesh back is nice, but, I mean, I'm, you know, like, it doesn't affect me the same way, because, like, I'm not putting most of all of my my chonk like down on my back like I do on my thighs it's not like it's not like chafing in us it's just like it's just rough on the skin I don't know it's 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 just not great I can't I can't handle mesh on my skin but I'm really weird and averse to textures so you know well i mean yeah you know, some people have a texture thing i think i think andrea also has a texture thing um so she I, i'm i'm sure she understands and i mean like there are certain textures that i do and don't prefer but like at least i don't have like a thing where it's like okay that's now getting wet and i get i get irritated when i get wet not on my own terms like especially like if if i'm wearing this shirt and i like i spill something on it and i get soaked like, oh, I hate that. Like, I hate, like, the clinging of, like, of wet clothing to me. Just like, bleh. Yeah, textures are, textures are a nightmare. It's why, the, that's the one thing I hate about online shopping, because it's, like, it's a game of, am I going to hate this when I touch it or not? Yeah, you don't like, know until it arrives. And, yeah, buying pillowcases and sheets and everything. It's just, like... Am I going to hate this? Is this going to be a waste of whatever amount of money I'm spending on it? Probably. Who knows? Like, it's just... Textures are not. 
yeah. fixtures in the air, not friends. I can, I can, I can see that. Yep, for sure. Hmm. It's why I'm picky on specific foods because it's not the taste; it's the texture. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, but then I feel really bad when it's a really nice thing and it's a nice texture, quote unquote, but it's not one I like. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it is 100% happened to me where Just... it's an expensive thing and it's a nice texture, but then it, it or it makes the wrong noise. And so now I've spent like 50 bucks on a thing that I hate and want to burn instead of 15 bucks or something. Yeah. That's not ridiculous. I mean, like, everybody has preferences or things that they do and don't like, you know? Like, it's just... Oh my god, you eat bananas now? Holy shit. Like, she hated bananas before. Hated them. Like, anything mushy. Anything mushy, she's not about. Like, Sabrina's, Sabrina's a lot like the same way. Like, there are certain textures she does and doesn't like. And, like, some things, like, if it's too mushy... She's just not about it. Um, it, of course, depending on what it is. Now, like, um, when on grill nights, you know, go out there and make steak or whatever, um, like, she'll, she, we'll do grill packets of the veggies. So put the veggies, oil them and season them up a little bit, toss them around, put them in a, like, wrap them up in foil, and I'll grill them like that. Um, foil and like, mash them, stick them in a stew. Foil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. And she likes the the um, her vegetables. Some of them like pretty mushy, not to where they're like disintegrating, but like to where they're really soft. Um, but yeah, like textures See, I can are a big do thing. Mushy. I can't do slimy, so I can't do like actual cooked onions because bleh. um okra. And I can't do. I can't do, um, I don't do liquids. Like, I don't do soup. Or, I'll drink liquids, but I don't do, like, soup or, like, liquidy chili or, like, liquidy stew. Like, it's just, to me, like, liquids are for drinking, food is for eating, and food is supposed to be solid-ish. That's, yep, that's and fair. It, I just cannot, I, nope. Yep. Like, if it's a really thick, like soup or chili i will be like slightly tempted but i've still yet to find one that i actually consistently like what about like like a thick cheese sauce on something like sauces like on pastas and stuff or alfredos or even just like like a cheddar cheese sauce like cheese whiz on something i so fake cheese is is weird so like cheese whiz is probably a no but that's probably because it's not cheesy and not like it it's the wrong cheese. Like, I, I, uh, no, so, but I'll do sauce on my pasta. In fact, I won't eat pasta without sauce. Um, but I don't like sauces on a, like, pasta requires sauce, but I don't like sauces on my sandwich. I don't like sauces on, like, most things. Like, I don't like gravy on my mashed potatoes. Okay. Like, for me, it's a very, like, I think it's probably because pasta was only ever introduced with a sauce, so for me that's just how pasta exists. Right, right, but right. But everything else, if it if I don't find it necessary, cheese, like actual melted cheese, like I've had like cheesy broccoli or cheesy cauliflower as a kid, and maybe, I don't know now, like then it was okay because it was better versions of vegetables, but now I'm just like, that's a weird texture mix for me. Yeah. That's, I, yep, okay, all right, I get it. So, it's just, it, I'm very weird on what it's supposed to be. Like, I won't, I won't eat kettle corn. Popcorn is supposed to be, like, salty. I can't do, like, the weird, like, sweet, half-sweet flavor. So, like, if stuff is, like, the opposite stuff, I can't, like, like, like chicken and pancakes is just, no. Like, I can't do it. Like, so, like, so, like, salted caramel is a hard no for you. I've not tried it. Salt, salt is a slight exception because I'll do, like, chocolate covered pretzels. Okay. And salt can enhance the sweet, but I can't do, like, sweet in things that are supposed to be savory to me. Like, okay. Like, 
if it's supposed to like if you put chocolate in my mashed potatoes that sounds awful well yeah no like, yeah like most but, people would find like, that bad well i find kettle corn to like that's the same concept to me like it's just this weird like half sweet awful flavor right but like like you said like for you popcorn popcorn is a savory it's not supposed to be a sweet so for you right. a sweet popcorn doesn't doesn't compute no it doesn't like i don't i'll tolerate like i'll munch a slight bit of caramel corn but even then i'm just like this doesn't this isn't this isn't what i want out of my popcorn oh it's just but a, a sad. but cheesy popcorn that's savory and delicious Yes, cheesy popcorn I can agree on. And I've never had cream of wheat, so I have no idea. It's Cream of wheat is basically like... Think of it like oatmeal, but smoother is basically what cream of wheat is. It's, it's, um, it's, it's basically oatmeal, yeah, but smoother. I, if it's basically oatmeal, but smoother, I can do that because I've put chocolate or raisins in my oatmeal. Oatmeal is supposed to be sweet as far as I'm concerned. Chocolate, brown sugar, raisins... All of those are applicable for oatmeal. Yeah, so like you have you have oatmeal, you have like regular cold cereals that you have. Cream of wheat is in that hot cereal category. Like that's that's what when I when someone says hot cereal, like I know they're talking about like that whole family, but really it's cream of wheat. Like cream of wheat is hot cereal. It's and it's like again, it's it's smoother and, and creamier than an oatmeal is typically is. Because a lot of times oatmeal, like, we're not making oatmeal from scratch. We're making oatmeal out of a packet with hot water. And so, like, you know, it's just... It, yeah, it, no one's spending that much time on it. No one's spending that time that much time on oatmeal. Um, cheesy eggs or omelets? Cheesy eggs slash omelets. So, because I like so few things in my eggs, I might as well just scramble them and make cheesy scrambled eggs because mm -hmm. if i don't bother putting any vegetables in it there's no point in making a cheese omelet mm -hmm. i mean my omelets are just breakfast meats whatever provolone or mozzarella the, i can get my hands on an egg so yeah but i don't even like most breakfast meats i i have like bacon I... that is the only one. Oh, the old-fashioned sad oatmeal oh Oh, mom, no. That that I think so far is the only flaw that I've ever heard about her mom because her mom's amazing. It's but old fashioned sad oatmeal. I'm My sad that it's oatmeal. Had oatmeal. And I was able to put brown sugar and raisins in it to make it palatable. Mmm, brown sugar. I'm from Georgia, so you know. We'll substitute brown sugar for like white sugar and basically anything, just as an excuse to add molasses to it. Tootsie Pop? Is that what we're calling? Are we calling you Tootsie Pop now? Please no. Okay. Nope. Sorry, NS. You got you got you got overruled on the Tootsie Pop. Or at least I'm not going to acknowledge it. I, I I can say that much. Well, that's fair. Mm. No packaged goods, no snacks. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's that's true. Like, which, like, knowing your mom and like her, just like. So Andrea's mom is very much like she's 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 very health conscious, like she's she's incredibly health conscious, like. The woman's gonna live forever. I'm convinced, um, because she like she she eats well, she cooks well, like everything is freshly made, all of it, like all of it. So like when Andrea's talking about like no packaged goods, no snacks, like she's not kidding. Like the closest thing to packaged goods that you will find in her mom's pantry is you know, um, like like jarred preserved stuff, pickled stuff, things like that. That's the closest thing you'll find to packaged stuff. That's it. But most of that is also home pickled or, or preserves or whatever. Like she's, you know, very much, very much on the eat good stuff spectrum. Um, Man, I wish I had that kind of taste buds. Um, but like she, like, 
my God, the last time the last time I saw her mom, like I had dinner with 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 her and her husband's family, and of course Andrea, and like my God, like we had like lamb chops and oh. It was delicious, like this whole spread, man. But like, it was centered around lamb chops, and that was that might have been the last time I've had lamb chops too. And good fuck, they were delicious. Like, I almost ate all of them, but I had to every, res- lamb chop. every single one. But I had to, I had to, I had to to restrain myself because you know you can't just go up in somebody's house and eat all their lamb chops, even though sh- even though I had the ability. And her mom would have let me because her mom is just, she's just a wonderful person. Yeah. See, stay at home mom, nutrition, PE background. Yeah. So like she's naturally going to, you know, yeah. And that's what I mean. Like on the, the healthy eating good shit spectrum, she's like way up there. No, my mom was not. My mom had no healthy eating for oh. herself. And the only healthy eating she tried to enforce on me, she just discovered that I will just resort to eating baker's chocolate. Like, unsweetened baker's chocolate, if you take all the chocolate out of the house. Oh, baker's chocolate. I'll, I'll pucker up for some baker's chocolate, man. Just shave, like shave, that. shave that motherfucker down and just give me the flakes. Unsweetened baker's chocolate. Mm, just- like raw chocolate because she's like doesn't even taste good i'm like it's still chocolate it's chocolate (laughs) she's like she's like what i'm like you took all the other chocolate out of the house Hmm. this is what happens oh i do like a chocolates we keep chocolate in this house like sabrina always has a cache of doves um, ooh, go make your hot chocolate. Go finish making your hot chocolate so that you have your delicious hot chocolate. Um, Sabrina always has, like, doves here at all times. And, like, they're either the dark chocolate doves or they're the dark chocolate with mint. Yeah, that's that's a... That's a <laughs> all I can think about is an episode of The Golden Girls where Blanche makes this, like, really big scream after... Um, her her father tells her that he's getting remarried and he's like is she happy or sad and uh, rose is like i don't know i've never heard her make that that kind of sound before and dorothy goes i've heard her make that sound before and i can assure you she's happy she was happy <laughs> uh, oh ferrero rochers yet yeah, those those i will i will devour a bucket of those fucking things like the Ferrero Rochers, like the the hazelnut with like the the chocolate hazelnut sauce wrapped inside of like a hard chocolate with like the hazelnut pieces in it. Oh, those are so good. But I mean, this is the same people that make Nutella, so you know, like chocolate and hazelnut is kind of their thing. Like this is this is what they do. Um, yeah, thin mints, thin mints, like. I'm pretty sure Sabrina doesn't have any Thin Mints left from her um, her Girl Scout cash this year. Um, Next year, I gotta get more Thin Mints, less of the other stuff, and get more Thin Mints and make brownies with them. Oh, there you go. No, I haven't seen your stash. You gotta sh- you gotta show me your stash. Send me a picture of your stash. Send it to me on the Twitters or something. Send me your stash. No, no, Send you're you're stash. not gonna get her. You're not gonna get her stash. <laughs> Listen, if anybody needs her stash right now, it's or needs their stash right now, it's her. She needs it. She her the needs the needs of the the few outweigh the needs of the many. That's fair. It's on your face. I too have a stash on my face. Actually, I have a whole beard on my face. Look how bushy, great big bushy beard. It's it's so fluffy. I might actually trim it soon because the weather's warming up. It retains heat, you know. That's what it does. I'm gonna trim it. Keep spotting the new gray hairs. Makes me sad. Reminds me that I'm, I'm getting close old. to getting my hair cut, much to Elena's dismay. No, don't cut your hair. It looks so good long. It looks so good. And it's, it's so it's, warm, though. It is. It is warm. It is warm. Which, coming from you, I'm honestly kind of shocked that you're complaining. Like, 
when wh- like Elena, how many times in the the years that you've known Lollipop has he ever complained about being too warm? Like, can you count only, only, only about his hair? Uh, like, is can can you count more on more than one hand? <laughs> uh, yes, because his hair. But that's the only time. But, but just it, the hair. If it's not about his hair, then then he doesn't know what too warm is. That's fair. He was under a blanket today on the couch. It's like eighty nine degrees outside. What the hell? I mean, to be fair, it's and not that's why in our house that's but, but that's point. but that's why is because sometimes especially during the summer i do have to go outside and do things you know especially now that i'm gonna be vaccinated mm, vaccinated mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah your second yeah, we, do have to, we do have to start getting quotes on a fence and stuff like that because now with his brother in uh back in ohio we're not doing any of that ourselves <laughs> it's just not happening yeah yeah, I don't I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. That's honestly like the 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 homeowners association fee that I pay here is like kind of ridiculous. But it covers everything, including the lawn and the pool. And as soon as I'm vaccinated, I'm going back and I'm gonna go be a swimmy bear and I'm gonna be in the pool. I'll be like one of those bears that you see, like where they just come get in the pool and they just kinda sit up and they just do this this number and just kind of walk around in it. That's me. That's me in the pool, and I'm. Yep. Man, I haven't been in the ocean in months. Well, year plus. No. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. There it is. Oh yeah, no, I got an HOA here. It is. It is what it is. I've I've been on the board of the HOA here a couple of times. decent HOAs. I'm glad we don't have one, though. I didn't want to deal with one. Oh, yeah. That's that's a fucking stash right there. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. This is... Th- there's Andrea's stash of her for, 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 for Rochers. That's a good stash. Like, that's... Some quality shit right there. I really like that those, but it's like seventy thirty shot that they're just gonna tear my mouth to shreds. Oh really? Do you have like soft skin in your mouth? Yeah, like my 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 mouth is not not the best mouth. Eh. So it's like a like I love them, but then then I'm paying the price for like a week. So, so basically, like you, you start to bleed if you walk past the Captain Crunch in the aisle. It's not quite that bad, but they do they do cut up the fucking roof of your mouth, though. Uh huh. They do. They cut up anybody's fucking mouth. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you you're made of fucking steel. It's like corroding that shit. It's just like scratching. It's like diamond tip cereal. God, it's delicious though, especially with the crunch berries. Oh, fuck! I want cereal. I used to love honeycomb as a kid. Oh, honeycomb was so good. It's like sweet but not too sweet. Oh my god! I was a bear then. I didn't even know it. I just sounds like you. I just I just had a breakthrough. All these signs my entire life that I'm a bear, and sometimes you just don't pick up on it until later. Like when you realize you were eating honey, like you were just like chowing down on fucking honeycomb as a kid. I used to eat honey buns by the box. Oh my god. Rice crispy. Oh. I want rice crispy treats. That's what I want. Fucking rice crispy treats. And now they have like the home style ones, which is. It's weird because like the home style one are just like. They have bigger. Like, they have actual little chunks of marshmallow in it, which to me is just like, you didn't mix up your Rice Krispie Treats well enough. Like, your your marshmallow should be soft enough that when you mix up the Rice Krispies in it, there should be no chunks. That's, that's piss pork Rice Krispie Treat management, honestly. The chocolate ones with the marshmallow things, I'll, I'll kind of forgive because it's chocolate and then you have, like, the plain marshmallow in there to kind of offset it a little bit. But, like, the plain ones... 
with the marshmallow chunks. It's just like, that's, no, no. I like the ones with the M&M's. Oh, the ones with the M&M's are good. The Rice Krispie Treat cereal is good. Yeah, I haven't had that in a really long time. That's also really good. Um, let's see. Yeah, but see, like, I run, I run a spectrum. Like, I'm just... There's a bunch of cereal that I fucking like. Like, give me Honey Nut Cheerios. That's also my favorite Cheerio. I mean, it's a lot of people's favorite, so that doesn't say a whole lot. But still, it's still... The only Cheerio. But still, you're a bear. But still, I'm a bear. Uh, but also, also, frosted shredded wheat. Love frosted shredded wheat. If we're talking about weird favorite cereals, Crackle and Oat brand. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um... um Total is pretty good, too, for just being like a flake. It's pretty okay. It's all right. I don't know. There's something about it that's different than, like, plain cornflakes, but it's good. I like it. Ooh, Crispix was good. Crispix with, like, the little... Crispix was good. Yep, I like Crispix. Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, always a classic. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> what in the Cinnamon Toast fuck is this? Grape Nuts. Okay, did you hear... Did, you, did y'all hear, like, apparently... Like there was a shortage of grape nuts, and people were like being they they were getting them as they could and like reselling them on eBay and shit for like a hundred dollars a box. Like what the fuck, man? Like the grape any food that much. I like I don't know that I like any cereal that necessarily that much to where like I would pay like a hundred bucks a box for that. I would hey, make my her. own. Yeah, like like her, <laughs> like her dad made his own. I would I would make my own before I wouldn't. I would pay somebody a hundred dollars a fucking box for it. But yeah, like the the grape nut shortage, like that was wild to me. That was just ridiculous. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, cereal, man. I love cereal. Why did the music stop? I mean, too many requests. I haven't been playing anything. Fuck you. Maybe it didn't like us skipping all the weird talking ones or something. I don't then know. Maybe it shouldn't play all the weird talking ones after we told him not to play the weird talking ones. I mean, he makes an excellent point. Okay, there we go. It's he better makes a now. lot of points. He does, it's true. Make your point. Hey. Not on stream. Crazy kids. Wouldn't I be making his point? I don't I don't know the details of your personal life, and frankly, it's none of my business. <laughs> you say that. He means that. I mean, you know. Listen, I'm all I'm saying is like it's it's not my business unless you make it my business. So his he sips his tea. <laughs> Hold on. In other news. <laughs> In other news, I have a friend in the UK. Um, her name is Holly Brockwell, um, and she is she's a tech writer, but she also has what she calls Holly's Home for Manky Moggies. And she has all of these kitties that she's adopted that you know people typically like people wouldn't adopt because they have like health issues or maybe they're too old or whatever it may be. So she has all of these these kitties that need special attention and love. And she has this, and his name is Small Paul. And Small Paul has, um, I forget what it's called, but he has the, he, um, he's got the condition where like, um, like the, the motor sensor or like the, the motor center of his brain didn't fully develop. So he's very the like wobbly. Hypophagia. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like he's, yep. he's, he's Small Paul the wobbly cat. He's the cutest kitty in the whole world. I have to show you Small Paul. In some ways, yes. There's a um, there's a cat on 
that I see a lot of on TikTok that is, uh, he's got the same kind of condition, and they, his owner named him Twerk. Oh my god, Twerk? He just wiggle his butt a lot. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's see. From the freezer with a gallon bag. What, wait, what you what do you get a gallon bag of from the freezer? Did you get Did you get more fucking thin mints from the freezer? There we go. Okay. I got to I got to show you this Come on. You can do it, thing. I believe in you. There it goes. Oh my god. Look at small ball. Look at him. What? Ooh, freezer bacon. Hmm. Oh, you're... I don't know if it's, uh... It does that when he's browsing the internet. Yeah, it, it does that sometimes. Mm. Okay, let's see if that helps. Look at him! Look! Look at his little face! He, God. He's just a baby. I know. His little belly. He's such a cutie. I know. This is this cat is Bean's current animal obsession, and he's adorable, and I I, I love him. He's Small Paul the Wobbly Cat. You can follow him on Instagram. He's just such a good kitty. Oh, what a good boy! There's. They're good kitties. Some, not all of them are good kitties. Some of them are evil kitties, but that's how you maintain, you know, balance. Uh, I'm tired. I have the sleepies. I think, I think <sighs> tomorrow... Tomorrow I'm going to try to sandbag at work as much as possible because I'm just so tired. But I'll probably end up working on the new big thing that we have to work on. Because there's nobody else. Because everybody else is working on stuff right now. You know that's probably going to end up being you and me, don't you, Lollipop? Mm. Listen, I would I would rather it be us, and we could just tackle it and get it knocked out. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll have to bring in reinforcements at some point for some of it, but you know, like we can get like 90% of it done. It'll be fine. So. Um. Kohler sent me the specs of his current machine because he's looking to build another one. And he's got a decent machine. He may sell me for cheap. Um, that might be my stream machine. Although, I keep looking at that one that you um, sent me. Because like I had, I had been looking at that one already, Lollipop. So I kept looking at that one. And I'm just like, ugh. It looks so nice. Mm-hmm. Really I mean, it's got a 3080 in it, so it's gonna it's gonna do good things. I mean, the question is, do you want to go wallet friendly, or do you want to go shiny gaming gaming streamer friendly? <laughs> okay. Because that's that's your real choice there. I am and always will be. An IT professional. 
as an IT professional, I understand that your hardware is an investment. Yep. No, I get it. So, for example, we have a $6,000 bed that we're still paying off. <laughs> However, it's a Tempur-Pedic with the adjustable base, and it is the most comfortable thing I've ever slept on in my life. Like, I'm basically never uncomfortable in this bed. It's phenomenal. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, it, so I will spend the money on something mm -hmm. to get something. No, I'm the same you know. way. Like, bed is next. Not like, if the next bed mattress we get, I'm hoping to get, like, super nice instead of the overstock we've done before. Yeah. Oh. I have to, it has to be, you know, a time when we can actually lay on things again, though. Because. That's true, too. That's, that is also true. Oh, all right. Um, let's see. I think, I think. I think I'm about done. It's. Yep. Yeah, it's close enough. I think it's close enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, you want me? You want me to play it for you, just for funsies? Because I know you love it so much; it's your favorite sound. If you want to, I was uh, I was trying to do it myself. I was trying to be the change I want to be in the world. You're trying to be the sound effect you want to see in the world. Uh huh. All right, let's. Let's kill that music. Let's go back. Let's do that one. Yeah, that's good. Um, uh, you know, it is very rare. No, I'm not doing new car. Nope. Nope. You took it for granted. Um, night, Andrea. Thanks for hanging out, friendo. Um, took it for granted. Took it for granted. Um, you know what? Let's go... Uh, since we have the time and um, Mo is still awake. She is she is super still awake. Is she can can you hear her? I can't hear her. Yeah, she's yeah, I can hear her. Is she signing out soon or is she gonna still be on for a few minutes? I don't think so. She seems like she's gonna be on for at least a little bit. Alright, well screw it. Let's go see best friend Mo. Night N S. Um Alright, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna go raid best friend Mo. Uh, where's my thingy, my doodle? Okay, let's see. We're gonna go raid best friend Mo. We're gonna go raid best friend Mo. Cause we love best friend Mo. There's your raid message. All right. Um. Let's see. Friday night happy hour on Friday. Dungeons on Sunday. That was so much fun. I can't wait to do that again. Um, Say with with less Xbox live chat. With with less Xbox live chat and much more Discord. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, all right. Well, there's the raid message. Use it if you wanna. You ain't gotta. I ain't your pappy. Um, and uh, yeah, let's fucking do this thing. Uh, until next time, I guess see y'all on Friday. Yeah. All right. Later. <laughs>